We only do this once a year, so. All right. <laughs> well, good evening, uh, everyone, and welcome to class night. Uh, thank you for the band, who is, uh, most of them were up in Burlington today, uh, getting slightly wet at the Burlington Jazz Festival. So thank you for making it back and being able to be here tonight as we celebrate uh, an event that is mostly put on uh, and coordinated by our senior class. We are so proud of your accomplishments in the classroom, on stage, and on the fields, and on the court. Tonight, our seniors will be awarded a number of accolades for their hard work here at West Rutland School. I encourage families to enjoy this evening, to sit back and listen to our seniors as they take the center stage. At this time, I will turn the evening over to Mallory for the class prophecy. It's 2033 and the class of 2023 is having their 10 year reunion. First to show up is Mallory as she and her family organized and decorated for the reunion. She, her husband and their foster child did not have a far drive in their new truck as they built a house and a horse barn on her parents' property in West Rutland. She's a speech language pathologist at Rutland Hospital and is pregnant with their first child. She hopes to find a job at a school in the next few years. Emma made the food as she's now a five-star pastry chef in New England and delivered it with her fiance in her souped up pickup truck. <laughs> First, Noah and Angelo show up with their music equipment for the Boys in the Basement reunion concert. <laughs> Noah lives with his wife and their dog in New England and works as a computer hardware engineer. Angelo shows up in the same car he has had since high school with, <laughs> with his wife who is pregnant with their first child. He's a music producer for many bands, a member of the band Professor Van Blatz and the Lab Rats. He produced many of his own solo albums and runs his own photography business. Ariana had the farthest travel, flying in from Greece for the reunion. She's happy traveling the world by herself, being a test dummy for sleep experience. experiments. <laughs> Colby shows up next with his long-term girlfriend. He also had a long flight coming from Sacramento, California, where he is an owner and lead director of Creation Studio Film Company. He just finished a four-part film, which is now a highly rated series that has hit the top of the charts. He is happy to be back in his hometown after working so hard over the last few years. Kaylee and Carrie showed up together with their families. Hannah shows up with her significant other. They live in a cozy cottage in New England where she works remotely as a game designer. Kaylee shows up with her partner and a child. People ask her all about her job as a cosmetologist, but she cannot reveal much since many of her clients are celebrities. Josh shows up slightly late because he is finishing up <laughs> the last of one of his youth sports camps. It took him a while to figure out what he wanted to do, but he chose to use his sports talents to give back to the community by creating a community program for students to be able to play sports outside of school. Mara is last to show up with her partner and two children. She is currently very happy running her own daycare center and is planning to go back to school soon to become a child psychologist. Dominic did not show up, but is a very successful security engineer, private detective, and civil engineer on the side. No one has heard much from him as he has had to keep his life private due to his job. Elijah also did not show up as he is busy building his restaurant in Philly with his wife and child. Now for some awards. Academic Excellence Jacket. These jackets go to the top three juniors. They are Grace Lynn, I'm sorry, Grace and Skaza. Emily Trepanier. And Ryan Skaza.
The next award is the Elmira College Key Award. This award carries a scholarship value of $60,000 over four years if the recipient chooses to enroll at Elmira College. The following two students have been selected based on high scholastic achievement, leadership, citizenship, and participation in extracurricular activities. Gabriella Griffith. It says two students, but there was only one. The Clarkson University High School Achievement Award. This award carries a scholarship of $80,000 over four years in recognition of outstanding leadership qualities and academic promise if the recipient chooses to enroll in Clarkson University. Ryan Skaza. Clarkson University High School Leadership Award. This award carries a scholarship of $100,000 over four years in recognition of outstanding leadership, leadership qualities and academic promise if the recipient chooses to enroll at Clarkson University. Emily Trepanier. St. Michael's College Book Award. The St. Michael's College Book Award for academic achievement with a social conscience recognizes outstanding students who demonstrate a strong commitment to volunteerism and leadership in their communities. Should the award recipient choose to apply to St. Michael's College, they will be considered for a renewable four-year merit scholarship ranging from $17,000 to full tuition. Two students have been selected for this year's book award. They are Grayson Skaza. and Abigail Lanfear. <laughs> Russell Sage Student Sage Award. Russell Sage College is pleased to present the 2022 Student Sage Recognition nomination to five of West Rowland's outstanding juniors. The award was created to recognize the characteristics of academic excellence and community involvement that have defined Sage students over a century. century. The Student Sage Award guarantees a scholarship of at least $16,000 per year for a minimum total of $64,000 toward tuition for four years of undergraduate study at Russell Sage College, should they choose to enroll. Emily Trepanier. <laughs> Ryan Skaza. Grayson Skaza. <laughs> Abigail Lanfear. and Johanna Stone. The National Federation of State High Schools Associations Award of Excellence for exemplary display of sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. The certificate goes to Noah Olson. <laughs> the 
Society of Women Engineers Certificate of Merit Award. This award recognizes accomplished young women who have attained high achievement in science and mathematics. These certificates go to honor Hannah Seacott. High honor, Ariana Coombs. And highest honor, Mallory Hogan. Student Activity Award. This is eligible, to be eligible for this award, a student needs a GPA of 3.5 or higher to have participated in varsity, a varsity sport or activity and exhibited outstanding school leadership and citizenship. These certificates are re rewarded to Mallory Hogan. <laughs> and Noah Olson. The Senior Athlete Award. This is based on four years of athletic performance. This award goes to Ariana Coombs. Presenting on behalf of Mary Margaret Duokendo, Pablo Picasso once wrote, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. The senior has always been working for as long as I've known him. In order to continue with his study of Spanish, for example, due to scheduling conflicts, he was unable to take Spanish one during the regularly scheduled class. Instead, he had to work independent, independently on Spanish one in a class of Spanish two students. His hard work and learning were exceptional and he was a top Spanish one student that year. I was looking forward to, be, to his being in Spanish two last year, but also, alas, again, due to scheduling conflicts, he was unable to take the course at all, but he persisted. Now he is in Spanish two this year and truly deserves this gold medal for not only his progress, but also his persistence. Congratulations go to Angelo Apriliano. <laughs> I predict that, to quote Picasso, once again, inspiration will always find him working. <clears throat> Presenting on behalf of Leah Anderson, kindergarten teacher, this award recognizes a student for being a positive role model this student helps young children develop both socially, emotionally, and academically, giving them hope for the future and building their confidence. Ms. Anderson and her kindergarten class appreciate and thank her for all her help in the classroom as a student aide. Kaylee Bedard. Now I'd like to introduce both Mr. Phil Henry and Zach Hampton.
All right, we like to uh, recognize our music students who are music students all the way to the end, even as uh, recent as this afternoon, um, which is impressive considering that, uh, that some of them started as early as the fourth grade, con contributing to the music department. So our first award goes to a senior who uh, took part in our music blend class as well as music intro class, and that is Mr. Josh Jackson. All right, fantastic. I've got some awards to give. Okay. So, the uh, students who have been with me for a while know a lot of my story, my musical journey. It's been kooky, as you can imagine. Um, and I've chosen to give some gifts to two students who have been with me for the entire time I've been here. Um, and it's very hard to see them go, but I'm so very proud. Um, this first gift goes to a student who has quietly been adding to our ensembles his entire career here. Um, he is a leader. He is just a stellar musician and human. Um, and when I graduated, um, I didn't feel like a lot of people saw me or appreciated me. And then I got a gift from uh, a, a, an adult who I had no idea was watching me and they appreciated everything I was doing, and they presented me with this compass. And it says, a thou uh, let's see, a, a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Now, it has been through an entire house fire, and my house burnt down, but I did find this. And I'd like to present this compass to keep you on your track, Noah Olson. Among the Cheez-Its here, I also have another gift. Um, you might surprise you, my students know this as well. Um, my first band teacher wanted me to quit. He called my dad and said that I was too disruptive. I couldn't be handled. He didn't believe in me. And that was my summer of my fifth grade, and I almost quit. And then my dad got me a private teacher on my saxophone, the weirdest guy I've ever met, Peter Greenfogel. And that summer, he gave me my very first jazz album, Charlie Parker. And he was the first teacher to see me and believe in me. And this CD has recently, well, it's been in my car ever since. But anyway, I'd like Angelo Aprileano to take care of this for me. If anybody has any CD players in their basement, Angelo could use it. <laughs> and now, uh, Jill Dutton. honor four seniors in my studio art class this year. Please come up, Kaylee, Emma, Ariana, and Hannah. <clears throat> it's not a walk by. Come on up, come on up, join me. <laughs> These students have taken intro to studio art and have continued to take studio art classes thereafter. Some of them have taken studio art each year. This year, we started with an assignment from Young Writers Project. Their prompt was a, dig, a deep dig. Who are you 
and what is it like to be a teenager in 2023? We followed this assignment with the Vermont Wildlife Coalition competition, celebrating Vermont's wildlife. Next, we celebrated being women and considered powerful women, both contemporary and historical. Finally, we participated in the Bowsey Ocean Awareness Competition, creating art to build an awareness of how our behavior impacts our oceans and marine animal habitats. We concluded this semester with an independent series. This involves developing an idea and then carrying this idea through the completion of at least three pieces of work. I would like to acknowledge the work of these seniors. Kaylee Bedard. I quote, simplicity is the keynote of all true elegance by Coco Chanel. There is elegance and simplicity. Kaylee capitalized on this idea when she created her series of still life flower paintings. Her simple compositions coupled with her unique color combinations are fresh and exciting for the viewer. She added highlights and shadows in just the right places to give her paintings an accurate, although minimalist feel. They will give any setting a pop of energy Kaylee is given the Andy Warhol Award. He and Seacott, I quote Confucius, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Quintessential beauty, is there such a thing? Hannah's paintings are beautiful. They are beautiful, but more importantly, they're about beauty. She has a beautiful style and eloquently includes everything she knows about color, texture, space, and movement. Her subjects are beautifully innocent and hopeful. I want to meet the subjects in your paintings, or at least visit the landscapes. I would encourage everyone to do the same. Hannah is given the Mary Cassette Award. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's from the sink. They, they scrubbed the stuff out of the bottom of my sink. It's part of the gift. <laughs> Next, Ariana Coombs, a uh, quote from Omer Sidadar. May every sunrise hold promise, more promise, and every sunset hold more peace. There's something about sunrises and sunsets. Ariana photographed and then painted just that, the amazing skies. She captured just the right light in the settings around our hometown, West Rutland. I believe she had a little help from her sister, Bella. Nonetheless, her luminous skies feel like the start of a day with the energy of a new beginning or the end of the day with peace and fulfillment. Ariana is given the William Turner Award. And lastly, Emma Savini, a quote from Bob Marley. Open your eyes, look within. Are you satisfied with the life you live in? What do you see when you look, into, look someone in the eye? Just ask Emma. She rounded up her closest friends and family members for her independent series. She took close-up photographs of their eyes, merged significant relationships together, and developed her own technique, which involved mixing acrylic paint and, wouldn't you know it, baking soda. <laughs> Never heard of that before. She painted their eyes close up. Every single fleck of color in the iris was carefully mixed and applied. I think she learned a lot about color, but even more about the people she loves and cares about. Emma is given the Chuck Close Award. I want to thank uh, each of these students for their commitment to the visual arts, and I want to encourage them to continue this path, whether for advanced study or for their own well-being. It has been a pleasure to work with you and certainly to learn with you. All my best. Congratulations on your graduation. Well, it is my honor to present the Latin Honors Medallions. West Rutland School recognizes academic achievement with the Latin Honors System, summa cum laude representing the highest honor. 
magna cum laude, representing great honor, or with great honor, and cum laude is with honor. This year we have two seniors graduating with honors. Graduates, please come forward when I call your name to receive your medallion as I announce. Mallory Hogan, magna cum laude. And Noah Olson, cum laude. So at this time, I will turn it over actually to Angelo and Noah for a musical uh, uh, ensemble here. So.
behalf of the class of 2023, I present the key to the school to the class of 2024. On behalf of the class of 2024, we accept this key and would like to wish the class of 2023 the best of luck with their future endeavors. As a way of saying thank you, we decided to purchase a ficus tree for the school as our class gift. We hope it warms up the lobby area, making it more welcoming and beautiful. Please don't forget to water it. <laughs> Mrs. Dutton and Miss Brooks, you've been with us from the beginning. Thank you for all of your hard work advising us over the years. We have a lot of great memories from fundraising to winter carnivals to concessions to prom and finally our awesome senior trip to Boston. We couldn't have done this without your help. Thank you both. Mallory, for our gag gift to you, we got you this horse, not only to remember your horse while you're gone off to college, obviously, but to, to embrace your inner horse girl once you get there. <laughs> give her a little ride on the way down. Oh, no thanks. Oh, I'll, I'll pass. Oh, dang it. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, Ariana, we got you a whistle because you're always in charge, and we also got you athletic tape, not only for when you, al when you always need to tape your cleats in soccer because you refuse to buy new ones, but also because of your future athletic career as an athletic trainer. Uh, music for you, yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> we got Hannah Arizona because it's her favorite drink and she's obsessed with it, so we got this to keep her hydrated through college. I'm going to. I have them for you. All right, for Emma, we got her, here's right there, just grab it, it's right there. We got her a red Jeep to commemorate the loss of her fallen soldier, her red Jeep. Yeah, for you, I love you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's bad. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Noah, Anthony, um, we got you a comb and hair gel just to remember the good old days with the swoosh, and also maybe so you can rock that hairstyle one more time. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Come on, walk through here. Come on, the rest of them did it. Okay, Josh. Josh, we got you this plant waterer because we know how much you love the plants, and we just want to make sure it brings you the joy of everything <laughs> for your great love for the plants. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, Colby. Colby. We got you a disposable camera, not only to capture your memories at college, but also because of your choice of career. 
and so you can relive your days through pictures at Stafford. Come on, Angelo, we got you a wig to reminisce on the days of your good old long hair before you decide to cut it. And in case in the future, then you ever cut it again, just to reminisce about the good old days. <laughs> nice. The rock star. There you go. We got you a long yeah. Give me a hand. Yeah, give um, me a hand. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> thanks, Angelo. <laughs> Okay, Kaylee, we got you a zebra because we remember the good old days when you would rock the zebra print during middle school and elementary school, and also because we remember you wanted to be a veterinarian. There you go. And take good care of him. All right, and Dom, we got you a bubble gun because of how much we know you love bubbles and <laughs> also to add to your bubble gun collection. <laughs> Please don't use indoors. There you go. Thank you. No problem. All right. And that's it. Bye.